We're a very old company. We've been here a long time and we've made multiple transitions through different uh, versions of what is the print industry, um, serving people and companies in the Intermountain area of the, of the United States. Whenever I get a, a response from a customer who's a, appreciated what we've done, uh, it always says three things. It, it always is, I got my stuff, right? Meaning it came on time. It looked great. And thank you to fill in the blank. We're commercial printers. Quality is critical to us. Image quality in particular. If, if we can't produce beautiful images on beautiful paper, then we've lost our craft. That's, that's what our customers value. I would say trust. Uh, we have a, an ad campaign that includes a number of our people uh, that work on, on our products every day for our customers. And uh, we call that, that campaign trust because at the end of the day, our customers trust us to carry out their work. We rarely put our name uh, on anything that goes out the door. Uh, the craft that we do um, represents the brands that have hired us to produce that work. So uh, the people that we have are the ones that are the caretakers of that. They are the ones that our customers trust. And many of our customers know our, our internal people uh, by name and greet them warmly and, uh, and talk to them about their friends and family. And so um, our internal people are critical to the success of our company. But uh, that's only half the story, right? Because the other half is, is customers. Because uh, customers are people. Customers are not just orders. I, I think it's fascinating to try and understand why it is that people print something. Because they always intend for that piece of print to achieve something in the world. And so the more that we understand and communicate with them about what their purpose is, the better chance we have of doing uh, that for them, of doing our best to help them achieve that goal. I think that uh, I really do have a passion for what we do. And again, it's not because the nuts and bolts of running a business, it's not because of particular equipment or anything like that. It's really uh, my passion drives from seeing print in the wild, doing what it was hired to do, why p someone invested into you know, creating that piece of print. And, uh, and so for me, the, I really enjoy that part of what I do. That's a hard one because it's easy to try and put, or it's easy to put up a mission statement or a purpose statement or something like that and hang it over the water cooler and hope that people pay attention to it. But I think that the only way that it actually becomes real is when we illustrate the end purpose of what we do. If we, as a holistic operation, uh, are aligned towards the purpose of what our customers are trying to achieve, uh, and we then invest in that direction, we train and create policies and procedures in that direction, and then try and uh, continue that message internally, then I think that it becomes real. It becomes a part of the culture. Someone told me some time ago as well that you know culture really is what you tolerate. It's important for all of us in the company to be looking constantly at what we're producing and just asking ourselves, is this good enough? Is this the best work I can do? Is this meet the needs of, of my customer. If my customer were here looking at me at this with me and watching me do this work, would they be happy with what I'm doing? So that's a, that's a constant thing. It, it, I, I, I don't claim to have completely achieved that, but I, but I think that uh, the more that we live it every day, not just produce something and publish it once in a while, that's how I think it becomes real for, for our people. Nobody really likes being managed, uh, but people really uh, enjoy leaders and enjoy working with people that they perceive to be leaders. For me, it's also why it's important to, to talk with people like you, uh, because I, I know how much you, uh, you've been in other print companies. I know how, how you're talking to different uh, people in the industry. And it's helpful for me to understand where our industry is going, because then I can help align everything in, internal in our uh, organization to, to do that. If I'm understanding and communicating where we're going, then it helps people contribute to that. And when people are feel part of it, then they'll give their best effort. They'll give their heart and soul. We have people that have been here 40 plus years because uh, they love what we do and, and they enjoy the culture and the people here. And so uh, I think that it's up to uh, us to lead the people in order to want to do that. 
Technology is critical in that print is changing. We have new opportunities in print we've never had before, is, and technology is, is critical to that. So uh, from that perspective, it's very important. And, and I think that um, if we don't pay attention to that, we simply won't be around. The flip side of that is that for my customers, for the most part, the individual technology that those of us as printers get excited about, they don't care at all. It, it makes no difference whatsoever to them. What they're interested in is the, exactly what I said before, uh, which is they want to know, is my stuff arriving on time? Is it beautiful? You know, is it expressing and doing, going to do in the world what I had hoped it would do? And so um, my customers are very, very uh, technology agnostic. They just, they want it to be beautiful. For the most part, we don't talk a lot about machines in particular or speeds and feeds. We talk a lot of, uh, more about opportunities. I think the opportunities in almost all cases are coming from customers. Uh, they're coming to us with ideas of how to produce something. And it's exciting when that lines up with our technology. It's exciting when we have something to offer that might be slightly different or help them uh, achieve their goal even at a better way. But for the most part, technology doesn't matter a lot on the outside and on the inside, uh, it does. You can't cut corners. Uh, so as soon as you choose a cheaper ink, as, as soon as you try to do something that, that costs a little bit less, but that your customer will notice, that will never pencil. In the long term, that will, that will never pencil. Uh, we do have a, a good reputation in the markets we serve, and I appreciate that. I, I absolutely love that when people um, tell me that. And uh, I will say that I think the business model is changing a little bit as well in that people are looking for that. And so uh, we've had a significant increase in inbound interest in what we do, uh, only because people have heard through word of mouth or maybe even some of our marketing, right, that we're very interested to try and do a good job for, for people. And uh, honestly, we get lots of opportunities when other printers don't do well, when they do cut corners or won't resolve an, an issue. Um, and that's an important element as well because um, stuff happens in print. Uh, and so uh, what I found over time is that uh, the quicker you communicate and the faster you try to resolve, you will actually build trust out of problems uh, that occur during the process. And if you try to avoid it or you try to, to escape responsibility from it, it, you will, it, you'll, you'll, that trust will erode, and then you, you know, you won't enjoy repeat business, and you, you might even um, have damage in the market from what people will say. I think it's just mostly a straight up human value of trying to treat people well, communicate with them often, um, let them know when there are problems, and uh, invite them to be part of the solution, solution where they can. And some people don't take to that well, but most people are happy to just know and understand, and they might be disappointed, but then. They'll, they'll, they'll turn around and be happy to be part of solving the problem. Yes, it is. And I would say that it, we're in a unique, or at least a, in recent history, a somewhat unique moment in time where I actually think that we are, as printers, more appreciated a little bit. Uh, because uh, it feels to me right now that our, our customers are seeing print less as a commodity. Uh, they're also realizing that uh, digital alternatives that they thought were very cheap are becoming very expensive, uh, and that there are unique and, and valuable aspects to print in terms of its tangible nature and deliverability. And then when you add the technical capabilities to deliver more data-driven print, more interesting, more personalized print, more textured print, all of that kind of thing. It's, it's just simply driving business results for people. Uh, not always business, it might have other reasons, it might be a nonprofit, it might be you know, all kinds of reasons people print things. Uh, but we're, uh, as we're um, able to, to uh, achieve those goals for people, they're willing to go along with, with the price. And, and, and we're all at a point where we're kind of like rebalancing our pricing. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a difficult world where, where we're dealing with inflation and price increases and such. But I think it is very much possible to be profitable, but only if 
we're printing the things that truly have value in the world. If it goes out and truly achieves results for people, they see it as valuable. And uh, when they see it as valuable, they don't have any problem paying the, the price, and then that makes it profitable for us. So I really hope that actually this period of time where I do feel like printers are a little bit uh, higher on the podium, totem pole, we're a little bit more valued, I think, in, in the chain of things right now, I, I, I hope that continues, and, and I, I believe it will.